It's May 7th um, at 9.02 a.m. and we're here for negotiations between the city and the police union. Thank you for coming back for day two. Uh, we had a chance to cost out some of your proposals. If it's okay, I'd like to start with going through those. Sure. Um, so you brought three written proposals and one verbal. Um, I'll start with the on-call pay. I don't have a thing on this. We checked it out. The only difference that it would be is for time entry on your side. We might have to adjust some project codes in the system, which is easy to do. Uh, we're happy to TA on that one, if that's still OK with you. Sure. Can I just deliver these all at once? Yeah. OK. Yeah. That'll be good. Um, the next one is sick leave payouts. So this took a bit of calculating, but I think we got to pretty close. So one thing we're trying to do this year is give you some written explanation of how we get to the calculations rather than just hand you a number. So I have a handout of this if you prefer. Um, we took everyone's current sick leave um, that is not, uh, not a member of management on your side and ran it through the calculator. Um, I know not everyone is eligible to retire, but without taking into factors, uh, we went with overall liability. So the cost of that came out at $143,000. Um, at this time, the city is not going to TA on this issue. We're happy to leave it on the table to review later. So the current cost of payouts is $334,000. That's an average payout of $2,700. Under the proposed, it takes it to $478, which is an average payout of $3,900, an increase. Sorry. The increase is the $1,179. Um, it's a pretty big increase for what we were looking at. So right now, um, we just would like to leave it on the table to revisit later. Third written was field training officer. Um, this was a much easier calculation. Over the last 43 months, we paid out 1,389 FTO payments and a half. We're fixing that half. <laughs> We're not sure what happened there. Um, so a full audit was done of FTO payments. Uh, the proposed cost increase is about $1,700. HR will recommend a $5,000 increase to the budget line this year, simply because the amount of officers you currently have going through FTO, and then I think we have four open dispatch positions. With a year-long probation on most, we're looking at least a 30% wash. We know that the training costs will be higher next year. Now, for your verbal proposal, which was a new pay scale, I wasn't able to cost this because I have a few questions before I can break it down into our current chart. So if you don't mind, I'll go ahead and pop it up on the screen. So this is what you sent. And my understanding last time that this yellow line was a divider. Are we going beyond that? Or are we stopping with the yellow line? I'm trying to I know. <laughs> Can you pan up here? Here? You can drive if you want. Can you freeze it so that it holds the, uh, or maybe you have one. The top of line, you mean? Yeah. Did you know how to do the freeze? I believe to the yellow line. So that's only one step at a master sergeant, which I couldn't think could be right. <coughs> so this is our master sergeant line right here.
That's only one step there. Okay, so then that can't be right. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I sat down to calculate it, and I said that we must have had a, I must have misunderstood. Right. So if you could just provide some clarification, is it continue all the way out to the end of the table, and the yellow line is just a yellow line? And then the other question I have is, you have master master corporal and a corporal both going out multiple steps rather than one ending. Is there going to be both ranks at that level? I know, it's hard to see. Yeah, it's difficult to... So master corporal currently has three steps, and I mean corporal has three, and then master is three. the subsequent steps. This one, it doesn't quite work like that. And I just want to make sure I cost it right. In theory, it should, the corporal should go out and then drop down to the master and go across like the, the current one that we're on. Is that easier? Yeah, a little bit. So this is the corporal, <coughs> and this is the master. And I have both of them having step, uh, what you're calling years all the way out. So am I supposed to, I don't know how to place people on that. Is that better? That takes everyone else's data out. start master corporal at. Can you see better over there, Corey? I guess I can see. Four, six. Three, uh, where is it you need to go? Where the master corporal should start off after the corporal. Should be. Do you guys want to take a quick caucus so you can... Yeah, let's take a yeah. caucus if we can. Uh, Iwamazawa is available for you. I'm sorry, say that. Iwamazawa. Okay, perfect. the answers to your question. And so the yellow line basically separates the initial steps where there's a yearly increase. At that point, after the yellow line, is it, that is in place. Okay. And so what that is supposed to be is like kind of a longevity type thing, so it's an increase every five years, somebody states. All right. So it's 15, 20, 25, right? And then the reason why that the master corporal and the corporal are separate is because of the new, like, uh, evolving corporal position. When uh, Chief Shai came in, the idea of it either going to be, if it's going to be a um, like a rank advancement where you just get it okay. after you know it's not a competitive thing anymore, and then the people that have already became corporals during the competitive portion of that are the master corporals. So, like myself, I had to take a test. I did go through all this process, and then it was competitive, and then I was chosen after a thing. Versus, I, it's just I, I, it's a, it's a time and rank, time and rank thing. So that was what this was based off of, depending on whether or not uh, the chief went that route. So we currently still have a competitive corporal process. Currently, yes. So how do you? I don't know how to cost this. Well, 
the idea would be if you if you wanted to just stick with and not use the master and just use the corporal portion, then that you could do that. Okay. But if it was to change to where there was it was a promotion a promotional uh, process where you just or sorry just a rank, rank advancement uh, process, then the the idea was to the people that had to do it through the promotional process would be in a different lineup or a different position. So for costing, I can go ahead and hide the master corporal rank. Yes. Okay, I think that gives me the clarification and I can run numbers for our next meeting. Is there anything else you have today? Nope. We don't have anything else either. Okay. You have no nothing else? <laughs> nope. Okay. Well, then, yeah, we do. Oh. Okay. Just a couple of things to consider um, when you go back and do your, your thing, I guess. Um, I think a question that you asked the last time, you know, kind of, <laughs> there's a couple ones that we didn't know, uh, that you were talking about the range. Currently, like, we are um, at a 10% range in our, from the start to the beginning in our thing. And so that, that is kind of what we're trying to, to help. Um, lear learning about this last night, really, um, it's kind of a, my notes are all, all over the place. Um, but the idea, uh, like the city in general, they're like about three and a quarter percent for five steps for the first five years. But then over time, they can be up to like 16 percent. And so those are the kind of things that we are hoping to help with, you know, with this scale and, or whatever you, when, when you're thinking of your own scale. Um, a couple other things that were, a lot of times when we get done with meetings, the body like, Sends us stuff. Oh, I'm sure you get lots of feedback. Yeah, too. so they send us stuff, and we want to do our part in trying to represent everybody. And um, you know, we're not at this point like it's it's been tough because we want to try to play, not try not play, but try to uh, be fair with everyone. And uh, there is a concern. It's not something that we will propose yet because we know that you're working on it as far as for the whole city and the non-sworn idea, but. Their, their steps are being so spread out, that is a concern for like civilian employees, uh, uh, that it takes a, a very long time for them to, you know, get to a higher, higher, I guess, pay. And so that was one of the concerns that was brought to us. Some other concerns that were pretty uh, poignant that we would like to bring up that we didn't bring up, uh, it, it was overheard, um, you know, some of the comps, and we even acknowledge that some of the comps are tough, uh, there was like a math cal there was a math calculation that was created uh, because Boise is such a, a Boise and Meridian are such a tough uh, thing to compare to <laughs> Pocatello. Uh, we were able to kind of to do it based off of the cost of living. Um, we took an average uh, from two uh, from two reputable sites that 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 make a cost of living and the average is that Boise or Ada County's area compared to Pocatello, their cost of living is 5% higher than ours. Um, um, they, they start off in pay 8% uh, higher than us, uh, which you know would make us, I guess, 3% behind them in a sense, and we kind of do the same, we do the same job. <laughs> um, the next one was uh, after four years in Boise, in the Boise area, they are 24% as a patrolman, they're 24% higher higher than us. So even though that they have a 5% cost, a 5% cost of living, I mean they still push off. And if you continue to go on their scale, uh, they are 36% higher at 10 years, 30% uh, higher, higher than us. 
at just a 5% on average uh, cost of living increase. Um, in October, again, this was stuff that was found after the meeting that wasn't able to be presented, but in October, they, they will actually receive, receive a 4.5% uh, increase. Um, some of the other issues that, that were brought from the body was the idea um, that even during the COVID uh, pandemic, um, most of those comps that you saw uh, in our area, so most of the cities in Idaho, uh, they all received some sort of increase. We decided not to, just to be fair, <laughs> in a sense. So, I mean, we didn't, we didn't know how the pandemic would affect us, but most, most cities had either they've adjusted their, their uh, pay and percentage increase, or uh, they actually moved up a step. Um, we also continued to work throughout, throughout it. Uh, our, our department, uh, we weren't off. Obviously, you know, people were uh, sick or diagnosed. They were, they were off, but we continued to work throughout it. We, didn't, we, didn't, we, weren't, we weren't off at all. And I guess final, finally, the, the biggest thing that to consider, and, and this is not proposal, this is stuff to consider, um, is that if we were able to extend our pay scale so that so that people can remain in positions and, and obtain an increase in pay, um, it would keep good people here. And, and it, it gets that loyalty. Uh, you shouldn't be punished, I guess, in a sense, for not promoting, you know, like to, for it to, to increase. Like, I, you know, some people are really good at their jobs and want to stay a detective or even a patrolman or whatever. And, and if that is the case, you know, they should be able to stay there and be rewarded for their loyalty and their skills that they get. And so that, that was one of, one of the concerns that was, uh, was brought up, the idea of us like reta retaining quality employees. Um, and finally, I guess in the, the, the concept of promotions, um, myself, I, I am somebody that I, I would like to promote. I like, I like that aspect of, of the job. Um, but the incentives to promote make it a little bit difficult because of the, the gaps, you know. And when you gain more responsibility, you seem like you should be compensated for that. And so our, our goal is just to try to uh, appease the body in that way. And, and we're not trying to be selfish or, or anything in that nature. Um, I think that there is something to be said about the people that work here. I, I've, I've said it before, but I'll say it again since we, I was hoping you'd have something, but I guess it's something to think about when you go back, is that there's something about the city of Pocatello that has this like underlying magic. <laughs> so it provides us this like, I don't know, a grasp of loyalty. I mean, and people say it pretty simple that it's just a, the, it's a community. Um, as far as, you know, it makes me nervous to ever leave because I know that if my toilet gets flooded, I can find a, I know a plumber, like I know him personally, you know, or I know an electrician personally, and uh, you know, a lot of us are involved, be it a church or sport or whatever, that we are deeply rooted in what, what happens to the city, we care about that, and there's something about that, and I just would really like uh, for us to be compensated, not for that loyalty, but just compensated enough that we don't have to think about leaving this place, you know, and I think that that is, probably the most important thing when you consider uh, whatever proposal you come up with. Well, we'll, re we'll return with a cost on the proposal that you brought. Um, I told you that we would respond to everything that you did. Um, I don't have anything in return because I'm not saying yours is wrong because I haven't had a chance to understand the table until we got these clarifying points. And, and if I could just follow up, I, I really appreciate you having those numbers and, and it sounds like you've gotten some good information from yeah from your group, um, but just so I understand, uh, because I'm the guy that has to convey the financial information to our city council, Yes. Um, whether I like it or not, that's what I have to do. So um, so did, did I hear you say that um, we were talking about around a 36% increase in cost of living in the Boise area? No, um, 
I probably didn't hear that. Yeah, so in Boise, in the Boise area, there's 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 been a debate for since I've started this process of our pumps. And and we've been trying to figure out a way. The the state of Idaho is so so varied as far as what the populations are, what's what's in their city, you know, the tax base and stuff. And so something that we looked into um, is something that is that can relate to both. And so one of the things recently, like in the journal, there was a, a, the, at the median cost of a house, even here in Pocatello, has went from 106000 to $206,000, right? And so we were looking at the cost, and, uh, and everybody in Idaho is experiencing this. So we looked at the cost of living in Boise compared to the cost of living here, or in that, in that area here. And uh, average, based on uh, the, the, the information, was 5% higher in Boise than here. So when they start off their officers there, they are 8% higher than us uh, in pay. And so that would be, like we'd be 3% behind them is what I was describing. As after four years in Boise, their pay is 24% higher than ours. And so then, and then in 10 years, if you were a patrolman if for 10 years in Boise, you would be paid 36% higher than what we are paid here. And that, that, that was what. And, then okay. their, and that was with their numbers now. Uh, it is expected that they will get a 4.5% raise in, um, in October for their fiscal year. Just out of curiosity, and just just my curiosity only, um, this this is being um, conveyed publicly. Yes. What we're talking about now. Did you happen to listen to uh, the discussion that we had with the city council yesterday about budget? I Any of you? Uh, you were probably. I was working and I was budget. coaching kindergarten football, so I'm, uh, that was pretty. Much that was fun. probably a, a good thing to be doing. I wish I could have been doing the same thing. <laughs> it would have been a way better day. Yeah. Um, Anyhow, just was curious if you had a chance to I, I tune did, into that. I did not. Okay. I personally did not. All right. Thanks. Um, would we like to set another date? Sure. from your side? Pre preferences again? I'm sorry. Preferences for the next meeting? <laughs> I'm always at work. <laughs> I can know that. <laughs> next week I'm supposed to be at training. Oh, yeah. Week. We're all yeah. at training. We could do early the week at the 17th. Would that be okay? The 18th. I'm training again on the 17th, so the 18th and beyond. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we could do the 18th. The morning, okay? Yes. Uh, do we want to stick at 9 or go a little earlier? 9 is fine. 9 is, good. Nine good. is fine for Okay. For Coffee, this part everyone's of the table too. got coffee in at 9. Um, Tuesday the 18th, 9 a.m. Yep. I'll book us three hours in here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just buy the cube. What? I just buy this. Thank <laughs> you.